Hello, we're working on the 68 Buick Wildcat, four-door hot top. And we came across an issue where we were leaking a bunch of oil. And I have since cleaned a lot of this with brake cleaner. So I cleaned it up enough to see where it was coming from. It really only dripped oil as you drove around, as you ran the engine, didn't do a whole lot. Uh, I just wanted to show you what we tracked it down to. So the first lead I had, uh, the red wire down there for the battery, that was the only thing that had oil dripping on it as the oil puddled up quite a bit underneath the car. Uh, as I was driving like 25 miles an hour, there'd be a big quarter size drop of oil about every two feet because you have to, I was leaking. Oil filter showed no oil on it and I was kind of worried that it might've been coming up from here. There was a lot of oil and uh, grime built up here. But after I cleaned all that up, there wasn't anything coming from there. And then you can see this hole here. Right there is where that was coming out of. And that had this in there, which is the oil pressure sensor switch or sender, whichever three you want to call it. Apparently that's undefined on the internet. So this was leaking and they can go out. So we pulled it out and we have to replace it. I just want you to know if you can notice this looks a little more circular. That's because it is. You cannot use, you might be able to, I didn't really try. Um, I bought an inch deep socket, so you do need a deep socket, but a one inch and that wasn't big enough. So it is a one and one sixteenth. And you need to get a specific one for it and it will say, um, like if you're looking for them, there'll be the oil sensor. Um, it's like an oil sensor socket, deep socket. So you can see that it's round with some of those grooves in there that'll lock into place. Compare that to one of these normal sockets. So socket's gonna be about 10 bucks. And then this new piece I got was just six bucks. Put an oil pan underneath it, that way it'll catch whatever leaks out. Um, I ordered the wrong piece at first because I didn't know what this part looked like, and it'll be different per car. Also make sure you have the right adapter plug here. When I was looking around, there was something that looked fairly similar to this, but the top was like a different plug. I didn't want to deal with that wiring, but you can find it. I found this by going to AutoZone and just searching for the car itself, and this popped up. It took forever on Amazon. Couldn't find the exact piece, but going through AutoZone pulled it up really quick for me. So I read a thread online. You hit thread. And it was a guy doing this to his 65. I don't know what it was, but a 65. And he was asking if he should put the Typhon tape or a sealant. And there are all sorts of answers. I'm sure this will spark a bunch of problems or opinions. Um, he said he ended up just not even putting anything on it, but I'm going to do the Typhon tape. Uh, I watched a couple mechanical videos and that's what they did. I'm just going to do one layer, wrap it around the correct way. Um, I read that some sealants uh, can get hard and break off and clog systems. And so if you do do a sealant, use uh, something that kind of doesn't harden. Alrighty, I've got one thin layer of the tape on there. I'll see if I can... Start that out by hand and then crank on it. So I put that in there and I read that you're not supposed to go all the way. Uh, some people have it torqued. This video wasn't necessarily like tell you exactly how to do it. I just want to uh, I couldn't find one on YouTube about this one. I found some, some for like modern cars, but nothing for the old cars. So that's in there to where I'm not comfortable twisting it any tighter. And I just ran the engine, not too long, but um, pressed the gas a few times, kept it going. Probably ran it for about three or five minutes. I have not had any oil come out yet, so we'll see what happens. I'm going to try to reassemble all this and we'll get back if it uh, leaks at all. I'm going to Drive it about 30 miles once it's put together and we'll see what happens. Well, I got it all back together. Now let's uh, back up in there. See that or am I still need to move over? There we go. The belt's on good. 
shaking a little. Also, classic car rule number seven, do not make your car a shelf. It's disrespectful. All righty. Full will be parked for about a minute, but so far no leaks. Here's our little device. And it looks dry underneath it. But that red wire is wet, so that concerns me. It's been sitting here a good 10 minutes. That's just uh, some black spots are gunk that I just chipped off, but it wasn't from the oil sensor. But I'm going to show you. You can see drop, 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 lots of drops. And this was just when I backed my car and the last time I came home. Drop, 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 and just big nesting messes. So hopefully we stay clean. But we only drove it about two miles just now. We'll see what happens after we do more. Driven 10 miles. Doesn't look like there's any leaks. Good morning. Drove the car about 30 miles yesterday. It's been sitting here since like nine o'clock last night. There's oil stains, but they're not new left, so I guess we fixed it. Hopefully this video helps someone somewhere. Um, I've yet to make a video introducing my car that I bought a couple months ago, but that'll have to come in the future and I'll just show you all the runs downs, what I want to do to it. It's a pretty solid vehicle. Thanks for watching.